Hello, this is Dr. Gay. Now we have a patient who has knee pain. They're a young patient, an adolescent, who is an athlete, they're a gymnast, and their knee has been hurting for a couple months, and they want to find out what's going on. And so this is a view where we're looking straight at the knee, and we see the femur up top, and then this is the knee joint. Down below the knee joint is the tibia. And we can see a meniscus, this little triangle here. Here's another meniscus. Now luckily the menisci look normal, the ligaments, we're intact, no tendon abnormality, all the muscles look great. And if we look here, we can see a transverse band going across. This is the growth plate of the femur. It looks completely normal. And now here's the growth plate of the tibia. And that has an abnormality right here, a localized abnormality in just one slice. If we put up a different sequence here, we can see that there's that same abnormality and a little bit of edema. This bright area is fluid signal within the bone or marrow edema, which means there's localized irritation or abnormal blood flow to this localized region. And this is something that is called a FOPE zone. This F-O-P-E zone, Z-O-N-E. And FOPE stands for Focal Periphyseal Edema Zone. And this is a finding in adolescents. They believe it's related to the growth plates. You know, at some point the growth plates are going to fuse and it may start locally in one area and then spread to other areas. So they believe that this may be where it's beginning to fuse and there's abnormal stress right there where it's try, trying to fuse. And you get a little localized zone of edema. Over time, the rest of it will fuse and this will uh, um, solve itself. There's no need for treatment or follow-up imaging because it's a, maybe a normal physiologic process. And um, that's it. So this is just a, called a FOPE lesion or FOPE zone in the tibia. And this may be very common. We just don't image everybody. And uh, again, I see it a couple times a year. So thank you very much.